Hello friends and welcome back to another video. Today we are discussing another voluntary suspension of cruise operations in the United States. We'll get into the update and all the details, but if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Alana and I love to do videos all on cruise news, cruise vlogs, and cruise live streams, and so much more. So be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss another video. Let's discuss how CLIA, or the Cruise Line International Association, has announced a voluntary suspension of cruise operations from U.S. ports. So this announcement came today, June 19th, as the association's ocean-going cruise line members will voluntarily extend the suspension of cruise operations until September 15th of 2020. In the announcement, they say that due to the ongoing situation within the U.S. related to COVID-19, CLIA member cruise lines have decided to voluntarily extend the period of suspended passenger operations. The current no-sail order issued by U.S. Centers of Disease Control and Prevention will expire on July 24th. And although we had hoped the cruise activity would resume as soon as possible after that date, it is increasingly clear that more time will be needed to resolve barriers to resumption in the United States. Although we are confident that future cruises will be healthy and safety and we will fully reflect the latest protective measures, we also feel that it is appropriate to err on the side of caution to help ensure the best interests of our passengers and crew members. We have therefore decided to further extend our suspension of operations from U.S. ports until September 15th. The added time will allow us to consult with the CDC on measures that will be appropriate for eventual resumption of cruise operations. This voluntary suspension applies to all CLIA members to which the no sale order applied, which is any vessels with, that carry 250 people or more. CLIA member cruise lines will continually evaluate the evolving situation and make the determination of whether a further extension is necessary. So no cruise lines have made announcements just yet speaking on this announcement from CLIA or making the announcement of additional cancellations, but we can see that those will come in the near future. And who's to say if it, this extension would be extended even further? Time will tell. But it's interesting as the cruise industry has supported over 421,000 jobs in the United States. And for every 30 cruisers from the U.S. ports, it supports one American job. So every day of the suspension of cruise operation, the U.S. results in a total loss of approximately $110 million in economic activity and up to 800 American jobs. Now, many of us have had cruises cancel throughout the suspension and the pause on cruising. This extended pause here may have canceled one more for you. Let me know in the comments below what your total is if you've had a few cancel so far and if you think the suspension will be delayed even further past September 15th. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this update. If you found it informational, please do give it a big thumbs up. Check out these other two videos that you might enjoy as well. And until next time, ciao for now.